Hello and welcome to this video. In this video I am going to take you with me to bring this boat into the water. In order to bring this boat alive we need to plug in these batteries and we have to turn on the radio. As a radio I am using the Flysky Paladin PL18. It's a fairly cheap radio but it works for me. Here you can see the new rudder system. This is chopped up yet. Um, I need to build a new cover and I am not sure how I do this to seal this up. What I used is these brackets which are 3D printed out of PETG and this little white thing out of PLA and in the middle we have a rod out of brass tubing. Here we have a ball joint. This ball joint connects to the servo down there, the lowest one, there you can see the carbon fiber rod going beneath these two servos. Um, here we have the steering servo. This is the silver servo and that comes out of one hole underneath the boom as well. So with the first servo we can tilt the whole system aft and forward and the other servo is moving the steering. Both servos run in a mix which I will show you later on the radio. So when I change the lift position the rudder position is changed correspondingly so I don't start to turn when changing the lift. And what I show you now this is also adjusting the lift on both rudders. And as you can see, let's try to show you. I'm moving on the, only the lift, but also the rudder is pulled in to compensate for steering when lift adjusts. Um, let's see if I can change that. Uh, if I would adjust lift singly, oh, this one, it would turn, as you can see. As a battery, I need to run two batteries. I currently have only these two batteries, but ordered new ones. This one goes into the uh, port hull, or starboard hull, and this one goes in the other one because on the other one we have a bigger servo <coughs> which compensates for weight. In order to plug these batteries I have also added a switch. This switch is usually not so nice because it gives one more point for corrosion and therefore I'm going to cut this out. But for now this works because this is just a little sail test, I think we're going to sail around about 20 seconds or so. I just want to see what happens. On my radio I have to go everything on zero, otherwise it will start to cry. And we can start the radio by pressing two buttons. It calls me switch D is not on neutral. And now we are on. The radio is uh, at like 80% battery and we have no RX yet. So we are going to turn on my receiver. And to turn on the receiver I have to check where my um, main sheet is. So I'm placing my main sheet in the middle. Therefore my main sheet is also roughly in the middle. Like so. Okay. Here we go. The main sheet adjusts out of the middle point because we are out of the middle point, but it works. You can see. Okay sheet system. This is a not so typical sheet system, but I will explain that. 
This is the sail drum at the moment. I will change the sail drum to a two-speed sail drum. So we have um, two lanes. One is winding onto the winch and one is de-winding, basically. Um, the servo is in here and comes out through there. Here is the battery plug for this side. We can plug in this battery. With a plugged battery, I'm supporting this winch servo, which otherwise would draw too much amperage for these cables, so it will cut out. I've experienced that and don't want that again. The trouble is it loses its zero point and then starts to wind further than it should be. My sheeting goes from the winch drum around a stainless pulley, which is from Stock Maritime, Tillmann Wiebe. Really recommend that. Over here, onto this pulley. This is basically now the main sheet. And I spliced in with a little splicing needle um, my real main sheet. So this main sheet can move free to a fixed point. This gives me the opportunity to sheet to the middle easily, but also gives me the chance to de-sheet or sheet against the wind to go backwards or to flip the boat over when it's capsized. capsized. Now, the sheet goes on and travels from this pulley to this pulley on one of these two stages. Here you can see on the top stage and goes with this line down through this block which pulls just tension to this block and this now changes the direction to the top one which is then parallel to the rear sheet. So both sheets, front and rear, are running simultaneously. Can you see that? If that's a good idea, I don't know, but I think that could help. And then after going to the jib sheet, I'm going back through the pulley and down through the tensioner onto this second pulley and onto the winch. To mount these to the winch, I have drilled a tiny little hole and then coming up out of here and just going through um, the screw which also mounts the winch drum. This is the other side, hacked up a little further to move freely. Here we have steering. This works. And now I can also show you how my uh, main foil lift works. Let's see if I find that. This is there. By pulling and pushing, I'm adjusting the tension on this rope, which is spring pre-tensioned to the main foil. In this full working order, we can now check the weight. What is needed to sail is probably um, these patches which uh, will close off the hatches, but nevertheless, here we go. Let's zero out the scale and check the weight. The current weight with moving servos and two batteries is 1660 grams. My goal was to get to 1.5 and I think I can achieve this by changing out the battery, which is in this hull, the big green one, and by also changing these cables to thinner ones, because now I have run uh, my second battery on here. 
and maybe I can also reprint and redesign these parts out of lightweight PLA. What else I can do is uh, save some weight on this thing right here and uh, remove these points and everything which is no longer needed for sailing. And my hope is to demount these servos for the uh, main foils because I think I can find a pre-setting which works fine and maybe run just one servo for both sides. This could save another like 20 or 30 grams, I think. Guys, I have to tell you, I'm super excited. Um, this boat is now in the final stage, uh, getting closer and closer to the water. In order to film the watering the first time, I have to lay down my camera and pull off my pants. I hope no one bothers. And also the audio will be on the ground. So let's see what happens. Okay, what I'm using right now is my gorilla pot um, stuck to my neck and I hope I don't lose the uh, camera. We have around about 4 degrees Celsius and slightly raining. So I'm getting barefoot right now and removing my pants to get cold. My knee is taped to stimulate some muscles because my meniscus is ripped right now and I'm going to the hospital tomorrow. Nevertheless, the coolness is really helpful for my muscles and for the tissue to relax. Here I'm placing the boat with all the servos in the final weight the first time in the water and check if it's currently on the foils and now I will place the camera. Sort of watertight and uh, sort of swimming. Maybe this is the last time we will see this boat. The water is still a little too shallow, so I'm picking up the boat and carrying it out towards. Meanwhile, I was checking the wind and checking the current. We have a little current coming from the right going to the left. And I'm giving the boat a little tip to start moving. Right away, I noticed the weight distribution is a little off. I can move the weight further forward, but I liked the weight further back because this helps with pitch polling. In these wind conditions, there's absolutely no problem with pitch polling, I think. So I think I can move it further. Here I can see the boat the first time accelerating and the first time sailing with sails and servos. And this was really, really exciting for me. After a quick upwind and Checking sessions, I went downwind and check how the downwind performance is, and there we had our first ever lift off um, with a boat under sails from a standstill. And this is a really exciting point for me. Now, this is to an upwind, and I noticed that the sails were a little off, and that's why I went to the beach and removed and checked them. Getting back onto the water with proper adjusted sails, we have our absolutely first soda reel flying. Watching back the footage, I can see the boat is tilting and it's not really properly lifting, but at least it's a little bit. The main foils produce too much lift and the rudder foils too little, but I think we can adjust this with a little more tuning. The moment I touched the boat was just due to the beach and uh, to shallow water. Uh, 
the wind is really dying but at least I can sail a little bit and it's a little more safe than going with too much wind. Picking up the camera and going back to the beach checking what happened and what I can change. I'm also checking how much water is in the boat and that looked all fine. So I can go back onto the water. I also retightened the main sheet which helped a lot. These are all little things I had to learn during this process and this is the excitement of model building. Right now I have the gorilla pot stuck to my neck and holding one leg with my teeth and I think this gives me a good chance to film and sail at the same time. It's not the most enjoyable and not the best looking version but I hope it gives you a little better video than from a standstill. I'm keeping all this footage where nothing happened in this video because this is the reality and I don't want to fake and just cut all the super good sections together. On the radio I just adjusted the lift and took the boat a little closer to me to check if it looks good. I'm adjusting the lift on the main foil. I really like the acceleration of this boat and here you can see it's already starting to lift. What you can see also is that the lift of the main foil is not suited to the lift of the rear foil, so only the front is lifting and not the rear. I need to adjust that, but I wasn't concentrated enough to do, to do so. Here we have another sort of lift off situation. Um, we have too much lift on the port foil and then we have too much lift on the other foil as well and the rudders are not lifting. I lost the main sheet and beached out so I needed to readjust that and check what happened. I'm also leaving this section of the video in so for anyone who's interested you can zoom in or check how I made what. At least it's some footage. If, let me know if I should cut the boring stuff out. Okay, I think that's it for the session. What happened is that my main sheet uh, just starts to slide. My main sheet st starts to slide. It's really hard to see. And you have to trust me, this knot is not holding up. And this one ripped as well out of its place, but it's slowly starting. Yeah, you can see it's moving. But overall, I'm super happy. I think we had the greatest experience yet and much more to come. We now have to change the main sheet uh, onto another material so we can probably properly splice this in. I think this is a beautiful spot for sailing and we had good conditions for a first test. Let me know in the comments if you like those videos. And that's it for the video. Let me know if you like it and we will see you in the next one.